Hello and welcome back. This is part 5 of the Big Rob series and uh, well I've gotten a lot of new parts over the last couple of days and I'm very very uh, happy that I got them. Uh, first of all um, the ramps boards that I ordered arrived. Um, unfortunately it looks like they're damaged. As you can see, the uh, capacitors here are uh, broken off, and um, this is by far one of the first, one of the worst um, hand solder jobs that I've seen in a long time. Uh, you can actually see the solder coming off here. Here, there's a solder, solder blob here and here, and uh, some of the connectors are just. Uh, standing off at a very um, odd angle. So I'm not really happy with those, but they were dirt cheap. I mean, the whole set of uh, the Rams board and an Arduino Mega um, was just, I believe, uh, 18 euros. And it came with uh, five step sticks um, with uh, heat spreaders and everything. So, um, I guess it's okay if I have to rework these a little bit. I also got the um, the connectors for the stepper and the threaded rod. Um, interestingly, these were sent from Poland, um, although I ordered them, I think it was in Denmark. Uh, I don't know why, um, but this is, this is good quality, um, it's very good. Also, uh, some of the steel rods uh, for the uh, for the axis moving parts arrived. This is 20 millimeter steel, um, very good quality. Uh, the price was reasonable, I guess. All the steel that I bought, which amounts to about over 20 kilos, came to about 150 euros which I guess is okay. And uh, the next steps from here will be to modify my firmware files so I can use the RAMS board. I'll rework the RAMS board so it's safe to use. Um, and, uh, well, take this old construction and move the code and uh, all of the connections um, to this board. Um, there are a couple of reasons why, I'm why I want to use a RAMS board. First of all, um, they're dirt cheap. You can get them anywhere. Um, they are a very good design. There's, there's nothing wrong with these things. They're, I like them a lot. Um, they're open source, so anybody can program for these things. Uh, they're very well documented. And uh, I think they will be around for quite some time. On the other hand, I did find out that my own firmware for the Arduino Nano actually had a pretty bad bug that has been in there for about one and a half years at least. And uh, I updated all the files on GitHub. So that should be gone for now. If you're interested in the bug itself, uh, have a look at the GitHub files. It's too embarrassing just to speak about it here. Um, well, that's the next steps. Um, I will be making some new parts. I will be looking at the design to make these Z-axis for these shorts, uh, short rods. Um, might be a while until the next uh, part because there's so much to do, but I'll keep you posted. And for now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.